as a Christian, if you are going to support Israel, then do so due to your personal bias. Renal mockery. Can you imagine? This guy must comment in everything. He must put his mouth in everything that is passing on the internet. This guy, eh? <laughs> we're willing to watch him, I tell you. So why, what is he talking about here? Because I know that he has been, how do I put it? He has been sitting on the fence on this uh, issue between Israel and uh, Hamas. I know he will go to the, criticize the popular side so that they can get popularity. And that, that is where he makes his money anyway. But you don't just make money that way. Okay. You have to be also be objective in your analysis and your views sometimes, at least to add value and sense to what you are doing. Renald Mercury, former AD of ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, has once again given his opinion on the Israel-Hamas war. Renald Mercury advised that both countries, Israel and Palestine, deserve our sympathy and if, as a Christian, you are going to support Israel, then do so due to your personal bias and not because of religious reasons. Hmm. Renault gave this advice via his official ex handle. He wrote on X as a Christian, if you are going to support Israel, then do so due to your personal bias and stop exposing your ignorance by thinking you are supporting them for religious reasons or in the name of Christianity. Most Israelis are Jews and do not believe in Christianity or Yeshua uh, Hamashak, Jesus Christ. Okay, we know that uh, most of the Jews are not Christians, but the Jews generally, traditionally, are Judaist and not Christians. Okay, and that is why they are fighting the way they are fighting. Assuming they are Christians, uh, they won't be fighting. Probably they will. They, probably they will also be crushed by now because it's the law of Moses they think is sustaining them is what they are using. Because the law of Moses, um, which stipulates an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, is what they are using to sustain and survive there. <laughs> So, uh, Renaud continues saying, they equally believe the Gospels are the works of European heretics and are still waiting for the genuine Messiah. So, before you insult me, please research what I just said and fact check me. Hmm. So, that is what he's saying. Uh, he put that on his, Twitter, uh, on his Twitter handle. He said, none of the above means you should hate Israelis or Jews. It should be best. It would be best if you did not hate anybody for practicing their religion, especially when their faith does not impurge yours. Love Israelis, but also love Palestinians. You don't have to love one at the expense of the other. God does not love your neighbor. Uh, God does not love your neighbor at your cost. So why do you love one at the expense of the other? Well, that is a bit objective. That's good. Generally, the Bible has told us to love everybody, love everybody, whether than your faith or not, because they are God's creation. You must love people. In fact, it's even a sin to hate people. Okay? Love everybody because God first loved us. He gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So, uh, that is, uh, uh, again, First John 4, 8. That says that he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. <laughs> so those are the key things there. So you must uh, love people because you have, you cannot say you love God that uh, you love God that you have never seen, and the people that you have seen you have not loved them. No, I think those are the parts of that First John chapter four. So that is it. You cannot say you love God that you have not seen. And the human being you are seeing, you cannot love them. No, that is fallacy. That is fake. Okay. Um, it continues saying, say, reject Hamas. Okay, be against Hamas. Support your government in condemning Hamas. Lobby the United Nations to move against Hamas. But know that Hamas is not synonymous with Palestinians. It is an Iranian-backed terror group that should be crushed. Many Palestinians are themselves scared of and are victims of Hamas. Okay, that is another key information there. The Hamas actually are the militant group of Palestine, and there are the people causing all this problem. They are like Hezbollah of uh, of uh, Syria and Lebanon. 
they are like the Taliban of Afghanistan. That is the kind of people they are. So they are just terrorist group or, or rather militant group in Palestine that are causing this problem. And that is why Israel has said every last standing Hamas fighter is a dead man and they want to finish them and wipe them off. Hmm. So he continued writing, sir. He said, you did not hate anybody for practicing religion, especially when their faith does not employ yours. Okay, you should not, not you did not. Okay, so both Palestinians, uh, 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 both Palestinians, Muslims are Christians. Okay, yes, our half a million Palestinians are Christians, believe in Yeshua, uh, Jesus. Palestinian Christians believe he is the son of God. Palestinian Muslims believe he is the prophet of God. So they are they have both uh, Palestinians. Uh, Palestinians have both Christians and Muslims in their midst as well. So many holy sites that Christian pilgrims go to are looked after by Palestinian Muslims and Christians, including Bethlehem, Jericho, Nazareth, etc. Palestinians have nothing but love for Christians. The most isolated people on earth are not the Israelis, they are the Palestinians, unloved, unwanted, and oppressed. Okay? Pray for Israel and pray for Palestinian, Palestine and Palestinians. Both deserve your sympathy and empathy and the world's support to reach a two-state uh, resolution or, st or solution. I think the world should actually go and help these people and solve that boundary issue once and for all so that this unnecessary war can stop. It just very very unfortunate that this war is continuing and the world is looking it's not a very healthy situation at all and the uh, people are making their comments here. somebody saying right now please go to gaza and fight for palestinians supporting in nigeria without joining the war has no value go please <laughs> the thing get us a view somebody is saying here uh, both Palestinian Christians and Muslims are victims of Islamic terrorism financed by Iran under the umbrella of Hamas. So may God Almighty restore peace urgently in Jesus' name. Amen. I think that is the key thing here. The Hamas is a, is a group oppressing both the Palestinian Muslims and Christians. And probably that is why this time Israel wants to wipe them out completely. I think probably that since the world has failed to solve a problem there, Probably Israel will do the need for. That is it. <laughs> Somebody say Namukri. Namukri means small goat in a uh, in Urubu, in Urubu language. Now for you, Namukri. <laughs> now this is Namukri, not Namukri. <laughs> eh? Now oh, wow. Somebody say why the insult now? Must you comment? If you don't believe in what he said, then tell the world your own story. That is it. People should learn not to be insulting people, and it's not a very good thing to do. Eh? Reno, preach and teach yourself first. Who do you think you are educating from your post? Eh? Which adult literate person is so naive and, and uninformed to desire and appreciate your write-up? Go, gone are the days I take you seriously, it is gone forever. Abi, the guy, the guy with the way the guy is attacking uh, Labour Party and Peter B has proven that he's also biased in his own opinion. That is it. And somebody say here that Reno is a disappointment. Okay. So the fact remains that what he said in this post actually is true, but generally, if you follow Reno's antecedent, you get disappointed actually because. He's, uh, I don't know, even though everybody's entitled to his own opinion, you must know, have a matured way of expressing your opinion without hurting other people's, uh, uh, other people's feelings as well. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment. <laughs>